Hello YouTube friends, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to prove that the formula for the sum of an arithmetic series is equal to n over 2 multiplied by in brackets 2a plus n minus 1 in brackets multiplied by d. Now in order to prove this formula right over here you need to know that a is going to be equal to the first term in the series, d is going to be equal to the common difference in the series, and n is going to be equal to the number of terms in the series. Now, with this crucial information over here, we can begin to work on our proof. So, get ready for this. Get a pen and paper and write this down. Let's write down that the sum of this arithmetic series is going to be equal to a plus a plus d in brackets plus a plus 2d in brackets plus dot 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 plus a plus n minus 2 in brackets multiplied by d. Let, let me just move my face over here. Plus a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d in brackets. Now, you may be wondering how on earth is this over here, this massive equation over here, equal to an arithmetic sum. Well, I'm going to show you why. Let's say that a is equal to 1, the common difference is equal to 1, and let's say that the number of terms that exists is equal to 100. How is this equation over here going to change? OK, now once I plug the value a equals 1, the value d equals 1, and the value n equals 100 into this equation over here, you are going to realize exactly why it's an arithmetic series. Let's do this. So, the sum with 100 terms, OK? because n is equal to 100, is going to be equal to a, what is the value of a? That is 1, plus, in brackets, a plus d. But what is d? That is 1. Okay, so we get 1 plus 1 in brackets over here. Now, we've got a plus 2d up here. Once again, a is equal to 1. 2d is going to be equal to 2. Now we get a plus, dot, 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 and a plus, and here we have a again, which is 1, plus n minus 2 in brackets, which is going to be 100 minus 2 in brackets, multiplied by d, which is 1, so we don't have to put anything next to it, and finally we're going, we're going to get a plus, let me just move my face over here, it's in the way. Finally, we are going to get a plus a, which is equal to 1, plus n minus 1, which is 100 minus 1, multiplied by d, which is 1, so we don't need to put anything next to it, okay? So, since I've plugged these values over here, okay, into this equation up here, we manage to get all of this over here, okay? Now, let's simplify everything that we've got, including the things in brackets. What we end up with is 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 2, plus 1 plus 2, which is 3, plus dot 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 plus 1 plus 100 minus 2, which is 1 plus 98, which is 99. 
okay, that's 99, plus 1 plus 100 minus 1, which is 1 plus 99, which is 100, okay? Look what has happened. We have an arithmetic series. We have all the numbers going up from 1 to 100. We have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, etc., going all the way up to plus 99 plus 100. And we have 100 terms. So n is 100. Okay? So, as we can see, this massive equation over here is clearly an arithmetic series. Okay, so we know that this chunky equation up here is in fact an arithmetic series. Now, in order to get our proof, we will have to create another similar equation in reverse using the same kind of variables. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So, have your pen and paper ready. We are going to get to the next stage of the proof. Right, so once you have your pen and paper ready, I want you to write down the sum with n over here is equal to, in brackets, a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d plus, in brackets, a plus n minus 2 multiplied by d plus, in brackets, a plus n minus 3 multiplied by d and then we're going to get plus dot 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 plus a plus d in brackets plus a. Okay, what I'm going to do is show you that this chunky equation over here, okay, is exactly the same as this chunky equation up here that we started off with. And I'm going to show you that this is true by saying once again that a is equal to 1, d is equal to 1, and that n is equal to 100. Now what you're going to recognize is that this equation over here is exactly the same as this one, but in reverse. Now I'll show you why, why this is true. So, we have S over here, okay, and they're similar, and we're going to have N over here as well, and that's going to be equal to 100. And this is going to be equal to, in brackets, A, which is 1, plus 100 minus 1, because n is 100, times d, which is 1, okay, plus, in brackets, 1, plus n minus 2, which is 100 minus 2, times d, which is 1, in brackets, plus, in brackets, 1, plus 100 minus 3, okay, because n is 100, times d, which is 1, plus dot 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 a plus d, which is just 1 plus 1, and then plus a, which is 1, okay? So this up here is this below, when we, when we say that a is 1, d is 1, and n is 100. Now let's simplify this equation over here, okay, to see what we get. Alright, so we have S 100, because N is 100, is equal to what's inside these brackets. That's 1 plus 99, okay, that's 100, plus what's inside these brackets, which is 1 plus 98 which is 99, okay, plus what's inside these brackets, which is 1 plus 97, which is 98, 
plus dot 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 plus what's inside these brackets over here which is 2 and 1 over here so we have plus 1 so we know that S100 is this arithmetic series over here so this okay is equivalent to what we have up here okay and knowing this and knowing this massive chunky equation over here and this massive chunky equation over here we can prove that this up here okay is true okay so let's start working on our proof with the information that we know and also the information that we have discovered and uh, we can do this by writing sn okay is equal to a plus a plus d in brackets plus a plus 2d in brackets plus dot 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 plus a plus n minus 2 multiplied by d in brackets plus a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d in brackets and the next next thing we have to write down is sn again but in reverse the reverse of this and that is as we had written down before in brackets a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d plus in brackets a plus n minus 2 multiplied by d plus in brackets a plus n minus 3 multiplied by d plus dot 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 okay plus a plus d in brackets plus a okay this over here is just the reverse of this and with these two equations here we are going to come up with our proof and we are also going to understand that proof because of the work that we've done previously now to get our proof we need to collect both of these sums all right so we end up with 2 sn okay and to do this we need to collect these terms over here together okay they're going to be connected we need to collect these terms as well together and they are connected we need to collect these terms as well which are connected we need to collect these terms over here which are connected and we need to collect these terms over here which are also connected if we collect these terms in the manner that I've just described we are going to end up with 2sn over here and from there we can come up with our proof now the reason why these terms are connected is pretty simple and you only have to replay this video or rewind it and go back to what we've spoken about in order to figure it out if you're confused okay anyway we are going to get on with this proof and I'm going to show you exactly how to get to SN okay so let's collect all the terms that are connected to each other we'll begin with these two over here so one we have a plus in brackets a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d what is this simplified well it's going to be equal to a plus a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d 
and this is the same as 2a plus nd minus d. Actually, we don't even have to say this because we've already got n minus 1 multiplied by d here. So what we have is 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. Okay, so we know that these terms that are connected to each other over here in red is equal to this. All right, now we have to collect the other terms that are connected to each other in order to figure out exactly what 2sn is. Okay, now let's collect these two terms over here, okay, because we are adding up both of these sums, these two SNs over here. So let's do that and see what we get. So we have A plus D plus, let's see, in brackets, A plus N minus 2 multiplied by D. Okay? Now what is this simplified? Well, we have a plus d plus a over here, and then plus nd, okay, and then minus 2d. And this is going to be equal to 2a, okay, let's see, minus d, because we've collected these, plus nd. And this is in fact the same as 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d, okay? And this over here is exactly the same as this up here. So a pattern is starting to emerge. Now, will this pattern repeat itself when we add up other terms that are connected to each other, like these two? Let's wait and see. Okay, now let's collect the terms in blue, okay, which are connected to each other. So we get A plus 2D, I believe. Let me just check. Yes, plus, in brackets, A plus N minus 3 multiplied by d. What is this simplified? So we get a plus 2d plus a over here plus nd, okay, minus 3d. What is this going to be equal to? So we have 2a, 2d minus 3d is minus d and we have an nd over here. So what we get is 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d once again. And this is the same as this, which is the same as this over here. So a, a, a pattern is starting to emerge. It's looking as though we are going to get n lots that is n lots of 2a multiplied by n, sorry, 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. We are going to get two, we are going to get n lots of this. That's what it's looking like at the moment. All right, so let's sort out the other terms that are connected to each other. We'll do these ones in purple. So, number four over here will be, let me see, that's a plus n minus 2 multiplied by d. So a plus n minus 2 multiplied by d. And we get plus a plus d. Okay, so plus a plus d. And let's simplify it. So this is equal to a plus nd, 
minus 2d plus a plus d and this is going to be equal to we have an a here and an a here so that's 2a minus 2d plus d okay is minus d and we have a plus n d so once again we get 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d now let's see what happens when we collect the last two terms that are connected to each other okay so with the last one we have that is a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d plus a okay and we can see that this is 2a okay plus n minus 1 multiplied by d so what we're getting when we add up both of these sums over here I'm just going to circle them these sums over here is n lots of 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d okay so two of these sums is equal to this right over here okay so just to make sure that things are sinking in if we had a hundred terms or if we have a hundred terms this n over here is going to be equal to a hundred as well as this one over here okay so we've added up both of these sums and we have this equation over here now to figure out what the sum is on its own okay all we have to do is divide both sides of this equation by 2 all right and this means we end up with sn is equal to n divided by 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d all right and we have our proof all right, so this formula over here can be used to find the sum of an arithmetic series, all right? And um, I've made this video so that you understand this equation because in most schools, they're going to give you this equation and you're going to plug numbers into it, but you're not really going to understand how it works or how someone came up with it my videos are all about teaching you how someone came up with these proofs and these formulas if my videos are helping you out don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and um, also visit my instagram page to support me you can see it on the screen and also there's a donate link below this video if you'd like to donate and help me out with my project Thank you very much for watching this video.